This video is designed to help you fill in sections B and C of your 2016 Annual Information Statement. That's AIS for short. Your answers will appear on the public ACNC register unless you've applied for and we've approved specific details to be withheld, so it's important to get them right. All the details you'll see entered in this video are based on a fictitious organisation named The Yellow Charity. They don't belong to an actual charity. Now let's begin. Section B, Activities, is about what your charity does, where it does it, who it supports, and how. Question 8 asks if your charity conducted any activities in the 2016 reporting period. Activities include administrative tasks involved in running your charity, as well as the charitable work it does. If you select No, you must explain why your charity did not conduct any activities in the 2016 reporting period, and then you may skip to question 12. Just note that the page may take a moment to update each time you make a selection. If you select Yes at question 8, question 9 will ask you to select your charity's main activity from the drop-down box. If required, you can select additional activities from the list below, but do not select additional activities if they are not a primary part of what your charity does. For example, if your charity ran a one-off sports session, but this is not part of your regular work, do not select sports or other recreation. Charities that give grants will be required to answer a few more questions, but they need to estimate the percentage of their grants that are used in certain ways. Charities that undertake international activities will also need to provide some information about these activities. Question 10 is about where your charity conducted its activities. Select all the states and territories that apply. If your charity operated overseas, select all the relevant countries. In question 11, you will need to describe how your charity's activities helped achieve the charity's purpose. You can summarise key points from your annual report here and even include a link to your annual report here if you like. If the way your charity pursues its purpose is going to change, click yes for question 12 and explain how it will change in the box that appears. Otherwise, if nothing will change, click no. Question 13 is about who was helped most by your charity's activities. Select either general or specific. If you select specific, you will need to make a further selection from the list that appears. The specific categories are intended for organisations that only support specific groups. In most cases, if more than six boxes could be ticked, you should probably select the general category instead. Most groups will fit into one of the categories listed. If a specific group your charity helps is not listed, select Other and describe it. You can then move on to Section C, Human Resources, by clicking on the Next Page button. Section C, Human Resources, is about the people who work or volunteer for your charity. Your annual report, organisational chart, or pay-as-you-go payment summary might help you answer these questions. For Question 14a, you will need to record how many paid full-time, part-time and casual employees worked at your organisation during the last pay period of the financial year. For question 14b, 
Enter the number of volunteers who worked for your charity during the last pay period of the financial year. Volunteers can include unpaid board and committee members. And this brings us to the end of the second and third sections of the AIS. Before you move on to the next page, we recommend that you click the Save button. To move on to Section D, click the Next Page button here. For assistance with the other parts of the AIS, you can view the other videos in this series. As always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the AIS, you can call us on 132262 or email us at advice at I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.